A turbocharger, often referred to as a turbo, is a device used in internal combustion engines to increase the engine's efficiency and power output by forcing more air and therefore oxygen into the combustion chamber. Here's an overview of how it works and its main components. One, exhaust gases. Turbochargers use the engine's exhaust gases to drive a turbine. Two, turbine. The exhaust gases spin a turbine connected to a shaft. This turbine converts the energy from the exhaust into mechanical energy. Three, compressor. The turbine is connected to a compressor wheel on the same shaft. As the turbine spins, the compressor draws in and compresses air. Four, compressed air to engine. The compressed air is then forced into the engine's combustion chamber, allowing it to burn more fuel and generate more power. More air, more oxygen. Since combustion relies on oxygen, forcing more air and thus oxygen into the engine allows for more fuel to be burned efficiently. More power. This results in increased engine performance, often without increasing engine displacement. Main components of a turbocharger. One, turbine spins from the force of exhaust gases. Two, compressor, compresses the air entering the engine. Three, intercooler, optional but common, cools the compressed air before it enters the engine. Compressed air is heated and cooling it increases the density, allowing even more air into the engine. Four, waste gate, a valve that controls the amount of exhaust gas reaching the turbine, preventing overboost, too much pressure. Benefits of a turbocharger. One, increased power. Turbochargers can significantly boost an engine's horsepower without requiring a larger engine. Two, better fuel efficiency. While more power can be generated, turbochargers allow smaller engines to produce the same power as larger ones, potentially improving fuel economy. Three, lower emissions. By burning fuel more efficiently, turbochargers can help reduce the overall emissions from a vehicle. Downsides of turbochargers. 1. Turbo lag, the time it takes for the turbocharger to spool up and provide a boost in power. This delay is known as turbo lag. 2. Heat, turbochargers generate a lot of heat due to the exhaust gases and compression of air, which can increase engine wear if not properly managed. 3. Complexity and maintenance, turbos add complexity to the engine system, requiring better cooling and lubrication. They also have more parts that can wear out, such as the bearings in the turbo shaft types of turbochargers. 1. Single turbo, a simple single turbo setup. 2. Twin turbo, uses two turbos, either in sequence or in parallel, for improved performance across a wider range of engine speeds. 3. Variable geometry turbochargers, VGT. These use adjustable vanes to control the airflow through the turbine, providing better performance at different engine speeds. 4. Electric turbochargers. These use electric motors to help spool up the turbo faster, reducing lag. Application of turbochargers. Cars. Many modern gasoline and diesel engines use turbochargers for performance and fuel efficiency. Trucks. Diesel engines, especially in large trucks, frequently use turbochargers to enhance torque and fuel efficiency. Aviation. Turbochargers are also used in some aircraft engines, especially in high-altitude applications where the air is thinner. Let me know if you'd like to dive deeper into any of these aspects or have specific questions.